Game begin. Before we get started, here is the Xbox controller that I decided to marry with this build. Here's the Xbox 360 I custom created and 3D printed this case to fit around a little mini PC. Um, here's the menu system. I'll, I got 880 Xbox games, which took up the entire two terabytes. And I got one Xbox 360 game just to show off that it works. But what I do before we get there is just kind of show you this top just sort of snaps on a little bit. And there's your easy access to your hard drive. I uh, just double sided tape the uh, battery there. You got your hard drive, two terabytes, and your um, 16 gigs of RAM. And then you got your easy access still to your two USB 3.0s and your USB-C port and then this is the power button if you look Liz you can barely see where the power button touches the button in there so you have two additional USB ports in the back HDMI and display ports you can actually dual monitor this out um, it does cause it to be a little harder on the system to have two, two monitors but um, yeah, this is what I come up with, and so we're going to reset this camera up so that you can see, and I'll demonstrate the uh, the GUI interface and uh, some games. All right, guys, let's uh, get a little bit of testing on this Ryzen 7, 16 gigs of RAM, two terabyte build with 880 Xbox games on there. So I think most people want to see, this is a Botticera Linux, so we're going to go to Halo and just get a quick view of Halo 1, and then we'll uh, kind of go from there and see what else, uh, so I got my bezels so that it keeps the aspect ratio correct. Junior and hit Dunn's way up here, which is weird. Normal. Now remember, of course, this is all emulation, so it's not the system hardware that is having any kind of issues or trouble if there's glitches of any kind or slowdowns it will most likely be the emulator this com this computer this little mini pc has plenty of enough you know at 3.8 gigahertz um quad core ddr5 ram i mean it's just a power it's ddr4 ram i think this one but um, super high speed NVMe it's not going to be any issues with an Xbox game or a GameCube or a PS2 you know maybe but even, this even plays Xbox 360 and PS3 games like, this is a plenty horsepower enough system um, so I'm just going to see if I can skip through here Oh, we can give you weapons later, thanks. I need one now, you know. You can... Shit's hitting the fan, people. Give me a gun, let's go. Yes, this way.
Let's write it down so I need a gun. Captain's gun. Come on, some guys laying around. They don't know guns laying around for me. You would think they would just leave me an extra one on, but then I'll just get in the firefight and. Yep, in here, in here. Where you at, Captain? Captain's just hanging out over here, just looking around. What's up, girl? You look different later. Oh, sorry. Report. It must have been one of their boarding parties. I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. Oh, it's not Katana. Right. That's what's around. I'm initiating cold protocol on the team suit. It's a revolutionary game. Alright, we're gonna hit the A button and see if we can skip here. Alright. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for at least a gun, I guess. Oh. Say save and quit. Just like you would if you were playing the Xbox itself. Boom. Hit start and select. And uh, on here is literally starting back. So I hit these two buttons and it took me back out to the menu. So 
from here we just kind of need to know um, the bodice serve build has um, music built in so that's what's playing there and I think um, there's 880 games in here so it's a lot to choose from Games in the scrape. That's right. Let's check. Some scrapings might be missing, but let's like, go through and fix that. We can play some fighting games. Uh, we were. Let's see. I want to show Dead or Alive, I think, which I think was hugely popular. And then we'll go out there. There's Dead or Alive Ultimate. That's the original. Let's go through. Some 3D fighting games. Sure, looks really pretty. This is the um, teenager. The volume still up, it's just got really low on this game. Oh, wrong button. Take one. Gosh. Oh, I'm talking about getting your ass handed to you. Jesus, people. Let's skip the. So as you can see, this works pretty much flawlessly. I mean, the the X Emu X or Zemu emulator has come so far. Like they're just some just wonderful guys. Anyway, so I'm gonna lastly show you Xbox 360 just to give you a feel. Um, this is a easy to um, emulate uh, game. Um, it's oh my, it looks like it's on overdrive. Oh my god, it is on their drive. It's gonna be so fast. I don't know why it's so fast, but I gotta figure out. Whew. Mega, 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 mega fast. this fast. I haven't played some cool bullet hell games. Just time for that just right. Uh, yeah. 
Anyway, um, the reason I was playing this fast is the emulation and the process are just badassery. Um, right, sir. Wowzers. So I hit, uh, should hit, I think, the home button? No, start select. Okay, start select work. Boom, here I am. Back out. Um, if you play the higher powered Halo games and all, they're gonna play fantastic on this Ryzen 7. Things so fast and so good. So anyway, um, that's my details about this one. Um, obviously, if you have any questions, um, my YouTube channel here is Retro Gaming Rewind 1980 because the other one was already taken. But my Etsy, if you want to look for this device, is on uh, Retro Gaming Um You can always uh, message me on there. I, you can always message me under here. You want me to show you other games? If you'd like for me to preview anything, you want me to throw a PS3 game on here? You want me to? show anything that might uh, be of interest that you'd like to add on to it and make it you know more custom towards you just let me know all right thanks guys